Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting in my bathrobe and it is such a random time to be filming. It is 8 o'clock in the evening. I usually never film at this time, but I should. You can't see the difference. <laughs> but um, I'm getting ready to go for my date night. It is our anniversary today. It's our second year anniversary. So I'm just going to be prepping the skin, doing my makeup. It's going to be a quick process because I don't do a lot when I'm going out. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a fun video of me getting ready. Nothing too crazy, nothing new as such. I really felt like filming this process. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, so I'm going to jump in with my moisturizer first. I'm taking the collagen and pomegranate moisturizer from the face shop it is one of my favorite moisturizers to use even before makeup because it simply makes my skin so juicy and then i'm taking the Farsali liquid glass i absolutely forgot about this product you guys i kept it aside because i wanted to save that little bit the product's so expensive <laughs> but i slowly realized in this video why did i stop using this product look at my skin you guys it is literal liquid glass it's unreal this product I should not have put down and will not put down moving forward. Um, this is so good. I forgot about this product for a while because it's almost getting over and I thought I want to preserve this. Oh man, I'm definitely making an order if this is on sale. What on earth is this skin? I have forgotten this product. Man, why did I forget this? This is unreal. Dude. Dude. All right, guys, I'm going to take the professional. It's the light professional by Benefit and it is a pore filling primer. And this is the hydrating one, which is perfect for dry skin. I highly, highly recommend this. I put this every single day. And then I'm going to move on to my beloved foundation. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. I've been I've been taking a break from this foundation to try other foundations and stuff. But then um, like tonight, I'm just like, I have to go back to Smashbox because I missed it so much. And I clearly know why, because it is such a beautiful skin like foundation. Also gives you good, good coverage on your skin. Uh, perfect for like date nights and stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to take the Boeing Concealer by Benefit and I'm just going to apply that uh, to cancel out the darkness underneath my eye. And this brush is from Sugar Cosmetics. I'm not sure what it is. I will find it and link it down below. But yes, I'm just going to blend this um, concealer out and it is so easily blendable. It's not cakey, very thin. Mm, you have to make sure like your skin looks like skin on date nights. You don't want it to look super caked up and trying to cover up something you don't need to cover. So that's why I go in with super light products. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. You know it's one of my favorite concealers. I'm just putting that on the inner corner for some brightness. And then I'm going to lock it all in by using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Remember this powder? I used to use it so much. Um, I just wanted to use it again and see how it is so i'm just like bringing back all my cult favorites <laughs> the liquid glass the smashbox foundation the laura mercier powder and yeah my makeup lasted pretty damn well by the way i'm just gonna set the rest of my face as well leaving my cheekbone area i always leave that a little bit dewy and then i'm going in with this um anastasia beverly hills um brow pomade it is so beautiful like i recently used this and i'm just like wow this pomade is so good this has to be one of the better pomades i've used because most of them are waxy and or too pigmented it's just you can get really overboard using a pomade and with this one it was just the perfect amount of consistency so i absolutely love it i'm using a tiny angle brush for this it's an eyeliner brush actually but it works pretty well for me i think it's from sigma and yes, I am. I was just blown away by how this product was performing <laughs> because you can actually create additional hair and it just looks very natural. I'm taking the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and I'm just going to um, set the rest of my brows. Like look how beautiful. I take it and completely flatten it to my skin and that's how I get a very nice elongated bushy brow effect. I'm taking the K-Beauty eyeshadow right here and I'm picking up that color and I'm just going to put it on my crease. You know, usually when I step out, this is the kind of makeup I lean into. Like I don't do a lot with glitter and anything, like no liner and stuff. I try to keep everything very soft. So that's why I'm using like a rose color and then I'm going in with this glitter by Colourpop. But then uh, just like a wash of shimmer, you know, I didn't even want like a proper lid with shimmer but then i dust it off later you'll see <laughs> i just don't like 
too much happening on my face when I am meeting people in person or even going for a date. I like to keep it very soft and minimal at best. So yes, I'm taking that other color that you saw and I'm just like smoking it out towards the outer corner and also doing the same thing on my lower lash line. Then I'm picking up the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette and I'm taking that white color, matte white eyeshadow. Like it's a cream eyeshadow actually and I'm just putting that in my inner corner. This is my most favorite way to do my lids when I'm stepping out. I just really like the brightness it gives to the inner corner of the lid. And then I'm gonna go ahead with this MAC black color eyeshadow and an angle brush and I'm just gonna draw a liner. Like I'm just gonna draw a line, not actually taking a pencil or a pen liner to do it because again, I want it to be smoky and soft. I'm very, very curious to see what other people's date night looks are yeah? because I try to do different things, but I'm just like, no, my comfort zone is my comfort zone. I feel and look the best only when I do soft makeup, you know? So um, yeah, let me know what your date night look is. I don't even put falsies. Like here, I'm going ahead with the Super Fan Mascara by Smashbox and I'm just applying uh, two, three coats of that and that is it. No falsies because falsies are so difficult to put. Then I'm going in with the Patrick Ta bronzer. This is such a beautiful color. So again, I'm running that through my cheek, trying to add some color to my face. I absolutely love adding bronzer to my temples. It really, really um, looks very beautiful in pictures as well. It gives your face a really good contrast. You know, it gives your face some dimension in the photograph. Even in flash photography, you look really good when you add some dimensions to your face. Then I'm going ahead and contouring my nose using the same product. You don't have to spend a lot of time. Honestly, just like add some color to the nose. And then I'm blending it out and going ahead with blush. I'm taking Max Melba blush. It is so buildable. That's why I am like applying so much of it because um, it's a very relaxed, light pigmented blush and looks absolutely flattering if you apply this the right way it just looks so beautiful it's just like your cheeks you know it's not like a lot of color so i love it um and then i'm just putting some finishing mist and then going ahead and blending that out with my sponge and applying a little bit of highlighter i'm taking the jaclyn hill highlighter here and it's a loose highlighter and i'm just applying that to the high points of my face I'm taking the Il Maquillage and Carly Bible lip liner in the shade Luna. I absolutely love how cool toned this lip liner is, which gives my lip a very pouty effect. Then I'm going ahead with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 within, I think, warm brown. And then for lipstick, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Wedding Bells. It's such a beautiful pinky mauve color. And I'm just going to apply that on my lip. And then I am taking the Patrick Ta lipstick and I'm just going to go over. <laughs> That's a lot of lip product for one date night, but I just like to, you know, produce my own lipstick shade, I guess. Yeah. And then for hair, I'm just going to take tongs and this is the Alan Truman tong. I, my hair is not washed. Okay. Here I'm just, I was really lazy and I'm just like, no, I'm just going to throw in some dry shampoo. So I put some dry shampoo on there and I'm just trying to, you know, curl my hair to just refresh it once again. So it's really cool that even so many years later, we still do date nights and we make it a point to make time for each other, even on those special days. It's important to take that effort, give each other flowers, go out, um, have a nice meal, have conversations. And that's exactly what we're about to do tonight. And we had such a fabulous night just in general of just being together. And it really shows up later on in your relationship. You know, all these small little moments matter a lot. So I hope you guys do that as well. And I'm just adding the Patrick Ta Major Glow on my body. Um, I never, never am without this. It is the best product. It's like a body shimmer oil. And I'm wearing this nice slit silk, what is this called? A slip dress. But I take it out later and I get into like full sleeve mesh top and pants, which I'll show you later because I just thought this was too much for the place we were going. The place was more casual. It was more relaxed, you know, so it was not like a fine dining restaurant. So I felt like it was a bit much. Okay, so I'm going to show you my bag. I'm carrying this bag. It's from Miragio. 
and uh, it's super cute my pants are mint green so i thought i'd carry this i wanted to show you what's in my bag uh, just a little bit so i don't have much space i deliberately buy small bags now so that i'm not carrying everything under the sun because i always do so first thing is a wallet this is from mango and I, it just has like my cards and a little bit of cash and my house keys so that fits right in it's very slim it's a card holder slash cash holder i like the fact that it's got a little zip for the house keys as well so that i do have a sanitary pad inside i always have sanitary napkins in every bag if i don't need it someone else will need it it's a habit and i'm carrying the lipstick i'm wearing which is a charlotte tilbury one in wedding bells then i'm carrying a gloss because i feel too dry then i think i'm carrying my vaseline because i cannot live without my vaseline in case i get dry patches i put on vaseline and it really saves me carrying my lip liner this is the Il Maquillage and Carly Bible lip liner, the one I'm wearing basically. So my whole lip combo is in here. And not to forget my MAC compact powder. I've been carrying this for 7 to 8 years now. Ever since I've gotten into makeup, this has never left me, this particular product. MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. It's the NC30 and it's just a powder, sort of like a compact thing. It's got this, look how much I've used it. So what I do is basically, it's just for touch-ups. I just go like that, like that, like that, and I'm good to go. This almost never gets over. So I love to have this everywhere I go with me. It's got a mirror also, so that helps. If I have space, I will carry the Smashbox mini spritzer because I, again, get very dry. Do I? Okay, it fits. I have a lot of space, actually. See? So let me show you. So I think I have enough space here. So I think we're good to go. I will definitely put my mask in later. But yeah, that's it. Gonna seal this shut. And we're good. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. This is what I'm wearing, a black mesh top with a black bra inside, pants. I think all of this is from Zara head to toe. The bag is from Miragio. And yes, that is it. That is my casual date night outfit. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. I love you so very much. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.